To get the smoothest tracking shots, you will need what's called a track and dolly. The dolly is a moving platform on which sits your camera. The dolly has wheels underneath which run on a track, providing that nice smooth movement. Many filmmakers have constructed their own dollies using a row of skateboard wheels set at an angle, and here's my own variation on that. Firstly, I found a big piece of plywood which some builders were just about to chuck out. I cut it in half and trimmed off all the jagged bits. Then I set up my tripod on top of one half and drew around the tripod's rubber feet, making three circles. Using an electric drill and a jigsaw, I cut out the circles And when the two pieces of wood were screwed together, I had three perfectly placed holders for my tripod legs. Then I painted, sorry, got one of my kids to paint the dolly. And when the paint dried, I used the jigsaw to round off the corners and a sanding disc on my drill to smooth down the rough edges. I then cut a carrying handle into the dolly and smoothed it out as well. The wheels came with a TV stand from Ikea, which I decided not to mount on wheels, so they sat in my cellar for about 10 years, along with two identical sets of wheels from other Ikea furniture. The key difference between the Ikea wheels and the skateboard wheels is that they are casters, and so can move in any direction, whereas the skateboard wheels can only move in one direction. While they were inferior in overall quality to skateboard wheels, they were also a lot cheaper, and, crucially, their double wheel design allowed them to slide pretty securely along a length of PVC waste pipe, which was £2.69 for 2 metres, down my local hardware store. The tracking action is pretty good, all things considered, but you need to gaffer the pipes down to stop them from rolling around. To give the tripod a bit more stability on the dolly, I used some cheap crappy bungee cords to hold the legs down. They cost £1.50 for all three and smelled like they'd been in a warehouse fire. If you don't count the IKEA wheels, the track and dolly cost a grand total of £4.19. Now here's where the dolly comes into its own. As well as doing a perfectly good tracking job on the PVC pipes, the casters allow the dolly to move in any direction on a smooth surface, without even using a track. In fact, there's a name for this kind of dolly. It's called a crab dolly. Some pro dollies have removable wheels, so they can be a track dolly or a crab dolly. I know that a well-made skateboard dolly is a fine bit of kit, but let's see your skateboard wheel dolly do this.